And I've realized why we have this thing called midlife crisis. Like I realized why that comes about. And as an American, we, do the, we all do the same thing. And as Western culture, we do it, which is when we turn 14 or 15 and you hit high school, you're taught to just run, to just fill your fucking lives. And that's what we do. We start fucking running. We all start running. We run, and it's high school, right? And it's your first relationships, and you're running, and it's sex and partying, and you're running and running, and then it's graduation, and then it's on to college or prison, whatever your pathway is, right? And you're running, and you're running, right? And then you meet your first relationship, and it's your first job, and you're running, and then you have a kid, and you're running, and you're watching them grow, and you're running and running, and then your kid goes into high school, and you turn like 35 or 45, and then you're like running, and you were like, ha, 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 and you slow down, and you're like, fuck yeah, all right, 40, I'm going to slow down and start enjoying this little thing I like to call life, but little did you realize that life had been running behind you the whole time, and it comes running up out of breath, like, <laughs> the butt, <laughs> dude. I've been running behind you for 25 fucking years trying to catch up to you. And I was yelling at you. I was like, hey, I want to tell you something. And I was trying to catch up to you. But you just fucking kept on running and never looking anywhere or listening to me. And I wanted to stop and try to tell you, you're like real fucked up. Yeah really fucked up and not in a cool type way not in that cool type way you told your friends about in your 20s that you were fucked up to make it seem like you have artistic cachet or something no no no. you got monsters in your rib cage dude you're fucked up <laughs> so what do we all do we take off running in a new direction in our 40s and 50s and maybe you go in a different direction and now maybe it's divorce right? And now you meet that first love of yours, the person who loves you for who you evolved to be, your first true love. And now you're running, right? And your kids are growing up and they're having kids and it's college for them and you're running and running. And now it's no longer a job, it's a career. It's the path you chose to enrich your soul and you're running and running. And now Do you have any idea how long I've been on? Oh, you just turned off the light. So what does that mean? 55 and you're like, yeah, retirement, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah. This is where I'm gonna stop and enjoy life. Golden years, the silver years, I'm here. But little did you know, life was trying to catch up to you again. It had started following you and now it's out of breath again and it's like, <laughs> fuck. Dude, what the fuck? Again, you just kept fucking running again? Remember I met you when you were like 40 and I told you something and then you just started fucking running in a different direction and I had more to tell you but you just fucking started running. Holy shit, can you run? You can fucking run from shit. Yeah, and you were running and I- Yeah, man. Weird time. I bought your pussy and sets. <laughs> Not this- I got up to you because I just wanted to tell you none of this fucking matters. <laughs> none of it. It doesn't mean anything. Everything you were told you had to do to improve your social standing and all that shit you didn't want to do to be part of a group, none of that fucking mattered. You can't take that with you. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. You know that whole time you were like running and you were like, I'm, I'm doing this shit I enjoy, but like for some reason I still feel heavy and depressed. And you're like, why do I feel heavy? It's your dreams. Your dreams are fucking killing you slowly. <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because goals and dreams are like food. You just eat one and then you're hungry for a new one again. And you just keep doing that over and over again. You know what your problem is, bud? You never learn to enjoy the process. You have to learn to love what you do and the process of doing it. And that's what you didn't learn to do. You never did that. Oh, God, I'm so glad I caught up to you to tell you that. Oh, all right, I'm going to get out of here now. And oh, I know you said you wanted to play tennis in your 70s, but your hips aren't going to handle it. All right, I'll see you later.